Let's get the graph of the modulus of 2 minus x. Well, to get this line, we could just pick two points by letting x equal 0, say. If x is 0, we get y equals 2 minus 0, which is 2. So 0, 2 is a point. Um, if y is 0, we get x equals 2, because 2 minus 2 is 0. So here we have the point 2, 0. Now let's look at the modulus of 2 minus x. In the previous video, uh, we saw that when we take the modulus of a line, we reflect the part of the line that's below the x-axis through the x-axis. So um, the part of the line that has negative values of y will be reflected upwards. So those negative values of y become positive. So I have it here. Now let's look at the graph of the modulus of 1 plus 2x. First of all, I'll just put in, get the graph of 1 plus 2x. And of course we want to reflect the part of that line that's below the x-axis through the x-axis. So, to solve this inequality, we want to see what points of the graph of the mod of 2 minus x have y values that are uh, greater than um, the y values of one, the mod of 1 plus 2x. So to see this more clearly, let's consider a vertical line cutting the two graphs. And uh, we want the mod of 2 minus x to be greater than the mod of 1 plus 2x. So we want the y value of this point to be greater than the y value of this point here. Of course the x values are the same. So for example, when x is minus 1.51 the mod of 2 minus x will be 3.51 and for the same value of x that is minus 1.51 the mod of 1 plus 2x will be 2.03 so we can see clearly that 3.51 is obviously greater than 2.03 uh, so for all values of x around here the inequality holds until we get to the point of intersection of course and then the inequality the the, uh, the mod of 2 minus x equals the mod of 1 plus 2x. So you can see that we need the point of intersection of these two lines here. Because then the inequality gets reversed. The, this gets reversed. So the mod of 1, 2... 1 plus 2x becomes greater than the mod of 2 minus x for values of x greater than the x value of the point of intersection of these two lines. But for values of x less than it, the inequality holds until we get to another point of intersection, which is up here. So, Let's get this point here. We know that the equation of this line here is y equals 1 plus 2x. What about the equation of this line here? Well, it's got negative slope. It's actually y equals 2 minus x. See, the slope is the coefficient of x. The slope is minus 1. Um, so we don't have to do much work here. We just uh, remove the modulus signs here. And similarly for this, we just remove the vertical lines. So we want the intersection of these two lines. So um, 2 minus x and 1 plus 2x are both equal to y. So we want the value of x that gives the same value of y. So we put 2 minus x equal to 1 plus 2x. And the value of x that gives the same value of y is 1 third. So the x coordinate of this point is 1 third. Actually, we're only interested in the x coordinate. So we just want the values of x for which the mod of 2 minus x is greater than the mod of 1, 2x, 1 plus 2x. So um, we just want the values of x for which the graph of the mod of 2 minus x is above the graph of the mod of 1 plus 2x. Next we need to get this point here. So now we need the equation of this red line here. Of course it's going to be related to the equation of this line. They have a point in common, and also the slopes are related. 
The slope of this line is plus 2 by y equals mx plus c. The coefficient of x gives the slope. Um, the slope of this line is actually minus 2. You see, we are reflecting this line through a vertical line cutting this point here. So if we show a slope construction here, if we pick some point and go out a distance 1, because the slope is 2, we have to go up a distance of 2. Slope is plus 2. If we reflect through here, then if we increase x by 1, by symmetry we have to go down 2 units. So if the change of x is plus 1, the change in y is minus 2. So the slope of this line is minus 2. Now let's get this point here. Well, this is where the line y equals 1 plus 2x cuts the x-axis. So the y value will be 0. So y equals 1 plus 2x. So we just set y equal to 0. And if we solve this, we get x equals minus a half. So this point is coordinates minus a half, 0. Actually, we don't want this point. We want the image of this point under axial symmetry in the x-axis. Then we'll get this point here. And this point is a point on this line. Because remember, we reflect it. Um, if we reflect the negative part, or the part of this line that's below the x-axis through the x-axis, we'll get this line. That's not how actually we got the graph, just the other way around. Uh, we had this line here, and we reflected its negative part through the x-axis. Anyway, if we can find this point, then we can just reflect through the origin. Um, well, we get it from this point, of course. What's the coordinates of this point? Well, the x value is 0. So the y value is easily got. So the y value is going to be 1. So now we have this point here. Its coordinates must be 0 minus 1. So the quickest way to get the equation of this line here is to use y equals mx plus c. So y equals minus 2x minus 1. So c is minus 1 for this line, the y-intercept. So we want the intersection of this line and this line here, y equals 2 minus x. So what do we do? We just put 2 minus x equal to minus 2x minus 1. So we want the value of x that gives the same value of y. So both of these are equal to y. So we put them equal to each other and we solve this equation. So we found the x value of this point, it's minus 3. So we see that for values of x that lie between minus 3 and plus a third, the modulus of 2 minus x will be greater than the modulus of 1 plus 2x, or the graph of the modulus of 2 minus x will be above the red graph, above the graph of the modulus of 1 plus 2x. So for any value of x in here, if we go up to the graph and look at the intersection, the vertical line with both graphs, see the, the black graph is above the red graph, only for values of x in here. So the solution is got by considering all values of x lying between minus 3 and plus 1 third. But of course we exclude these two points. So we have a strict inequality. I covered an inequality like this in a previous video um, where algebra was used to solve it. I'll just turn it around so we have it like this here, 1 plus 2x less than 2 minus x, and uh, since we have a situation that both of these are positive, they're, they're at least 0, um, well this one has to be at least 0, we can actually square both sides. So I went through this in a previous video. So squaring both sides is allowed when both quantities are positive. It's not allowed if one of them is negative. I just want to emphasize that here. Like, let's take a simple example. We know that minus 3 is less than plus 2, but if we square both sides of this, we get 9 less than 4. Well, that's obviously false. 
Um, so squaring is allowed if both quantities are positive. So for example, if um, a half, well, we know that plus a half is less than three quarters. If we square both sides of this, you get one quarter less than nine sixteenths. That's true. Because one quarter is actually four sixteenths, and four sixteenths is clearly less than nine sixteenths. So anyway, that's just a small point. So you're allowed to square both sides, and uh, this will lead to a quadratic inequality. <coughs> so I'll quickly go through it here. Um, you know, you, you'll get a x squared term on both sides, so you'll have to get zero on one side. You're going to end up with a quadratic inequality, whether you like it or not, um, because the x squareds aren't cancelling. So you solve that in the usual way, which I explained in the previous video. I'll quickly run through it here. You can consider a rough graph of this thing. And uh, the graph will cut through the roots of the equation 3x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals 0. If we consider the equation, the graph will cut through the two roots of it. And because the x squared term is positive, it's going to be an upright, upright u-shape. So now you want to see the values of x that make 3x squared plus x 8x minus 3 less than 0, make it negative. And obviously they're all the values between minus 3 and plus a third as we have here. And of course we exclude these.